Well, good morning, and welcome to this James with Jesus on Monday, January 4th, 2021. Um, I have to confess, it brings a smile to my face every time I put 21 and not 20. Um, I hope you enjoy the additional 45 seconds of daylight or so that we get each day right now that we've been gaining. Um, Renee was rather unimpressed when I shared that statistic yesterday that we had 44 seconds yesterday of new sunlight. I'm circling back around again going to the, through the, the Psalter, the book of Psalms uh, from ones that we've not yet covered and uh, this is Psalm 5. Give ear to my words, O Lord, give heed to my sighing. Listen to the sound of my cry, my King and my God. For to you I pray, O Lord, in the morning you hear my voice, in the morning I plead my case to you, and watch. For you are not a God who delights in wickedness, evil will not sojourn with you. The boastful will not stand before your eyes. You hate all evil doers. You destroy those who speak lies. The Lord abhors the bloodthirsty and deceitful. But I, through the abundance of your steadfast love, will enter your house. I will bow down toward your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before me. For there is no truth in their mouths. Their hearts are destruction. Their throats are open graves. They flatter with their tongues. Make them bear their guilt, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Because of their many transgressions, cast them out, for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them, so that those who love your name may exult in you. For you bless the righteous, O Lord. You cover them with favor as with a shield. Well, um, the book of Psalms is maybe, oh, what, 3,000 years old or so? <laughs> so, you, so you can see that issues of honesty and um, straightforwardness have been an issue with, the, with our humanity for, for millennia. Um, but we as a community of faith are called to um, uh, live together in harmony as best as we are able, not because we agree on everything, but at least hopefully we share values such as um, honesty, truthfulness, um, when we make mistakes, when I make mistakes, to, to confess, to say, I, I screwed up, you know, please forgive me, and then learn from that. Um, I tell people that I make a ton of mistakes, but I try not to make the same ones more than twice. <laughs> Um, it is great to have a community of faith that if you know uh, folks truly love you and look out for you, uh, want to help you improve, help you become the person you would like to be. Um, for those of us certainly in a Christian community, uh, our ideal is Jesus. And so anytime we're together and can help one another uh, be more Christ-like, um, that's a blessing. It doesn't mean it doesn't sting a little bit when, when correction is pointed out, um, but it means truly in our heart of hearts, that's what we're hoping for, um, to be in fellowship and community. It also means that we get to really learn from others when we see others that we would want to emulate. Maybe they just um, exude this sense of peace and calm, and you know that life has been rough for them, and yet they have persevered, they have um, learned to really rely on God, they've um, experienced God's grace even in the times of wilderness. And so, um, again, that's probably one of the harder things right now for me um, as a pastor and as a Christian um, that we've not been able to gather face to face and just um, be together and have those conversations where you learn more about one another, uh, where you can share insights and just enjoy one another's company. So this year, 2021, looking for far more opportunities to do that. 
Pastor Josh and I will be meeting this morning, I said my creativity in 2020 was just nowhere. Um, you know, the first few months was all about scrambling and then fell into the doldrums. I tend to enjoy doing some exercise just for fitness, um, but I last ran, I think, in August. Um, but about mid-December, things started to click again, and so I'm back on a good, on a, on a good upswing. And I know that improves my overall mental health and the whole nine yards. So uh, I am very um, hopeful in 2021. We 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 are still uh, not doing well. Pickens County is just getting hammered. I think we have had. 800 new documented cases in the first three days in January. There's a lag to that reporting. Um, so hopefully our improvement will come sooner than I anticipate, but we still have to go through the whole December, whatever the fallout is of Christmas gatherings, New Year's gatherings. Um, but there is, again, hopeful signs. Clemson as a community will be offering saliva testing five days a week, Monday through Friday at the a firehouse on Issaquina. It is a saliva test, so it's very easy. Renee and I were tested last week. Both of us were negative. We were testing in anticipation of our daughter, granddaughters, and son-in-law arriving today. <laughs> They're um, in Oklahoma right now, 800 miles or so ahead of them to get here. Um, but the travel from California has gone smoothly for them, and they've stayed at Airbnb, so they've not had to encounter any other people. Um, so we're, we're looking forward to their arrival. But I'll, I'll include the link to that community-wide testing. And even more hopeful is that um, on the Clemson City site, when they're talking about this testing, they are encouraging people. It's free. They said, we'd love if people got tested once a week or at least every other week. So we're finally getting to a point where there's just enough testing capacity, at least locally, that people really can start to get ahead of the curve. Uh, how they drove down the, the rates on the campus of Clemson where they had a, about a 12% positivity at one point. Um, with, when they rolled out this massive testing and had students tested once a week, they were catching a lot of asymptomatic or pre-symptomatic cases. They alerted people, they could isolate, they could be um, taken care of with food deliveries, etc., but they could stop the spread. So we as a community um, can do that too. So um, again, it just says the Clemson community. It doesn't say you have to be a resident of the city of Clemson because my hope is they're just trying to help slow the spread um, as best they can. Going back to Psalm 5 and truthfulness, um, I also wanted to read for you this is how the ELW Luther's explanation of the Eighth Commandment, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. And what does this mean? We are to fear and love God so that we do not tell lies about our neighbors, betray or slander them or destroy their reputations. Instead, we are come to their events, speak well of them and interpret everything they do in the best, in the best possible light. Um, so that's a good perspective to have. Uh, Luther, <laughs> I, I think Luther could have read his own stuff sometimes <laughs> because there's also a great site called the Lutheran Insulter or Luther Insulter, um, and it's a compilation of all his insults. I, I read through a few of them, um, and um, they're PG, PG-13, some of them, <laughs> but, but uh, if you wanna bring a smile, that's Luther Insulter. Um, I'd prefer if we behave, though, as an explanation of the Eighth Commandment, to just uh, let's look at each other and assume that people are working um, uh, to trying to do their best. And maybe in conversation and dialogue together, uh, we can come to a deeper understanding of one another and, again, ultimately grow into more Christ-likeness, which is everybody that sets foot um, into a, a Christian community, uh, hopefully that is a deep seated desire to follow Jesus, to become more like Jesus. So let's pray. Holy God, thank you for this day. Thank you for an opportunity to, to gather around um, your word, to um, 
look forward to this new day. Do pray for safe travel, continue to safe travel for Ben and Elise and the girls. Um, pray for others who are traveling, that they, uh, they too remain safe on the roads or in the air. We pray especially for people who, um, who are gonna have a difficult day today, that you may surprise them with moments of joy, that uh, people can um, sense your nudging in their spirits to reach out, to be an encouragement um, to one another, and for us to be gracious recipients of that encouragement from others. These things we ask and pray in Jesus' name, amen. Well, have a blessed day today. Pastor Josh will be with you in the morning and uh, looks like it's gonna be nice and sunny and uh, hopefully we'll warm up just a tad. Bye-bye. <laughs>